Hard to believe there are any endorsements left for Paula Deen to lose, but they're still disappearing. The celebrity chef is being hammered over racially explicit language she used in the past. Today, Sears became the latest corporate titan to drop her brand. But as Brian Moore reports, none of this seems to be hurting sales of her cookbooks. I beg for your forgiveness. Celebrity chef Paula Deen's admission that she used the N-word decades ago is now threatening a business empire built on deep-fried food and her sugary Southern personality. I have never with any intention hurt anybody on purpose. I is what I is, and I'm not changing. Despite an emotional apology on network TV, Sears today became the latest big buck sponsor to push away from Paula Deen's table. Sears joins Target, Walmart, the Food Network, and others that no longer want their names associated with Dean's. It makes sponsors very afraid. It makes businesses run. Dean and her brother Bubba are being sued by a former employee who accuses them of racial discrimination between 2005 and 2010. But Dean would only admit during a deposition that she used the epithet once decades ago after she was robbed. It was 30 years ago. Uh, I had had a gun put to my head. Dean's fans are coming to her defense. I thought it was a very sincere apology. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. On social media, some are threatening to boycott the companies that dumped Dean. Two Dean cookbooks, one that hasn't even been released yet, have shot to number one and number two on Amazon.com. But the damage done to Paula Dean's brand and her name is undeniable. If you've never committed a sin, please pick up that rock, pick up that boulder, and hit me as hard as you can. The chef who charmed her way to fame and fortune, now begging for a taste of redemption. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.